was waiting for you. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything. Because I always talk. You guys have to do it now. <laughs> I did one all by myself, Brad. It's all your turn. Well, let's just start over. You can't wait this long. No, that's great. Keep going. It's not great. It's <laughs> so great entertainment. <laughs> Splitting their sides. Oh my God, that's the best thing ever. This is gonna be a shareable moment. <laughs> this is this is the. <laughs> Hello and welcome to podcasting from Beyond the Grave Unboxing Yay! Edition. All right, calm down, everybody. Okay. But I'm so excited. What so, we got here, Jason? Um, it looks like we have toys. Man. Yours looks like a toy. Mine looks, Mine looks like art. Brad's is an action figure. Oh wow! Well, so, well, yours is all colorful. I know, but toy. It's, it's like I'm having that. to do modifications on the camera because it's such bright and colorful it's and toy-etic. cheerful. Yes, toyetic. Toy-etic. Did we just coin something, or is that no, been that, used by somebody? That's an actual phrase. Uh-huh. Okay, never mind. Okay. Maybe next time. Okay. It's playability. We have, is that a McFarlane? Yeah, it's a McFarlane. Vintage. Uh, vintage. vintage. How is it vintage? 2013. 2013, okay. 2013. What? Is Coral. Co- Coral. Coral Papa. Coral Papa. Uh, oh, Jiggy Jar Jar. I, I just picked him up. The, what was that? Uh, one of these um, Peddler's Malls. And mm-hmm. I bought season 10 of the which I hadn't seen the Whisperer War and they had him in the same case and he wasn't very much so yeah I just thought it would be fun to look at some earlier McFarlane work to see how they yes. come boy that would be a hell of a retrospective hey look at this look at this look at this the oh only, god yeah. look at that the only oh. Walking Dead figures ever are the, the, the yeah, color tops that he did later so uh-huh. we'll combine compare it with those later uh, we also have another NECA figure of uh, the Wolfman Lone Chaney, and it's the black and white version. I am collecting all the black and white versions of all these. Uh, I've decided that uh, this these head sculpts and paints are amazing. Amazing. Yeah. I'm so happy that they finally decided to do Universal Monsters from Kaneka. Yep. Yeah, because they do such a good job in the detail. And hopefully the black and white mummy will be out soon. And yes, it's supposed to be out this month. you got to wait for Dracula and the Invisible Man. Yeah. Yep. Which are the next two. So. And we also have... From the Fantastic Four. It's another uh, Thing figure. It looks like they were re-releasing in the uh, retro packaging to look back uh, like in the 90s whenever uh, they had a cartoon that had some popularity to it. Yeah, and this one's got a head switch. Yep. Some of the other ones was pretty cool in here. Little Benjamin J. Grimm. I like, yeah. I think I'd like to, to get a human torch next time. I'll mm-hmm. try to find one. I looked at him, but I was like, eh, maybe next time. He's pretty cool. Yep. <laughs> okay. What are we going to open first? I say let's do that Woodman. All right. Come on out to play, Mr. Woodman. So what's the deal with the black and white? Is it just because of the retro movie feel? Well, I mean, it only seems fitting to me um, to get the black and white version of that. The fact that they offer it is kind of like, that's great. And I think they did that with the sideshow figures way, way back when. Silver screen. Yes. And I always kind of wanted one of the black and white versions, but they were very difficult to get. Well... Kind of poor back then too, and so spending money on <laughs> toys also. and then buying two versions of the same toy over and over uh, was yeah. not all that feasible. But oh, extra feet. That's something that you don't get in action figures now, now nowadays. You get, you get a bunch of hands, and, and now you got extra feet. Got extra feet. <laughs> That's the great thing about this this looks looks so good. Good. Is that you really you'll want to. So that you can have. I, l- I like the idea of that. You can have him oh, the as the Wolfman, and you can have him as, as Larry Lawrence Talbot. Right. So, what do you have? Is it like? I bought the color one. And no. It's, do you it's keep the, the color as the Long Chaney's character, or do you? I kept the color and then as the Wolfman. Keep, okay. And the black and white is my uh, Lawrence Talbot. Okay, that's awesome. Of course. I'm a little biased. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. So buying two of him was something I usually don't do, but in this yeah, case yeah. I did. For good reason. Uh, 
Even these snips don't always help. You gotta make it to where it's like some special spray you just spray on it, and it just comes out and <laughs> dissolves and oh it has fate. Oh, they got him in there, don't they? Yep. I mean that's some damn fine packaging, but if you're never gonna take it off. I just am just astounded by the the pain on these. I mean that is so subtle to get those highlights. That takes a lot of practice, and I freaking love these knees joints. That's the same thing that they had on Frankenstein, where you did that pant leg still covers up the joint itself. But that is so good. NECA, oh my god, look. Next kind of even, that is, mm, that's good. That is so good. That's an outstanding action figure, period. You just said he was art. Now he's an action figure. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, don't use my words against me. But he is cool though. I have to hand he has that. a stand. You can put him up. I thought maybe. Oh, okay. I thought maybe, just maybe. But he stands on. If you look. Oh, got that fierce worried. head. My he's God, he's on his kind of legs, so that's kind of. That's well, kind of neat. His wolfy feet. Yeah, they're kind of hard to stand on both of them. So. Yeah. so they gave him a stand. I'm surprised they gave Elvira such a nice stand when they. They just gave him this little mini stand. But. There you go. All the hairs on his face. Bottom jaw. That's know, so the good. Face is awesome. Well, you know, and you can you can use the uh, the bear trap, of course, to get his foot. It never made sense that the figure came with the cane because the cane is iconic to the film, but the Wolfman himself could never use the cane. He was allergic to silver, so the fact that you can swap him out as Larry Talbot, posing with the cane, finally makes sense to include that accessory. Right. But the Wolfman himself couldn't hold it, yeah. Well, Claude Rains, well, Larry's father kills him, spoiler alert, in the 1941 <laughs> film. Claude Rains kills his son with the cane at the end. Give poor Larry some peace, at least until the next movie. But that, I just love that. that That's... Looks, just friggin' like him. I mean, that you, this is what you pay for when you get a NECA figure. I don't, I don't ever feel cheated. By NECA, as far as anything I've ever bought from them. Oh, that's pretty cool. I mean, I like to doctor on all my stuff, mostly. I will never, never touch these. There's no reason to. No, they do it right the first time, not to. Yep. <laughs> Feet. Look at that. I mean, toes. I know it does really good. Toes, and he's got wrinkles on his big toe. Oh, and the bottoms, too. Look. Wow. <laughs> I mean, no one's going to be looking at the bottom of this action figure, but yeah, we're going to put it all in there anyway. <laughs> this long Cheney's likeness. You can tell it's his foot. <laughs> <That's just> like, <laughs> they took pictures. They know. Man. Uh, long Cheney, the. Uh, as much as I love the Frankenstein figure, that's that almost is now my new favorite figure. It's so pretty to look at. And you kind of got Elvira hair a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> you get that hard hair going on. But, oh, no, oh need to push right. it. <laughs> you broke it. Oh, no. <laughs> and he's the headless horseman. No, you got to push that thing in there. Yeah. Put, I've put, seen y'all do that, and it looks... <laughs> put Larry Talbot's head on there. <laughs> no. I don't know who that is. <laughs> get out of here. Wolfman only. Hey y'all! I got hairy hands <laughs> and hairy feet. I'm a hobbit. Hairy <laughs> hobbit, I'm not getting stained. <laughs> Precious. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make a big moon for him. Oh. Big, put a big but he does come with hands. We can do them right there. Oh, crap! I need to grab those out of there. Awesome! I love it. I love it. 
Okay, what's next? Awesome. Next up, we'll open the retro. <laughs> retro figure. Retro figure from 2013. <laughs> All the way back. So old. Look, he said, the past. he said, he said, I'm gonna open it up just like the retro days, too. Oh, yeah, this is what we did. You got to get the little knife, get the, the fucker scissors, <laughs> rip shit up. Here we go. Look at this vintage packaging. It's so quaint. <laughs> oh, oh, he's got ties back here. Oh, making sure no one stole it. Backpack accessory. Well, let's get Carl out of here. Let's see. <laughs> I think they should have gave him some comic books or something. That's probably what the, it's in the backpack. More atomic bear. When that, well, what's that thing that on his shirt or something? He's got, it looks like a bear claw on his shirt. He's actually really cool looking. You know, everyone is ditching their Walking Dead collections and the show is ending and they're talking about all these endless spin offs and Fear the Walking Dead continues and. Does it? Oh, yep. it, 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 it has, and I haven't watched it in a I couple years. I'd like to, either. part of me wants to catch up on all of it. I enjoyed season 10. Uh, I'll see season 11 and see how it ends. I don't know about all these yes. Daryl and um, Daryl spinoff, and there's going to be the... After Jesus died is when I start watching. That season uh, you had never that, watched though. TV then. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know if anybody was going to catch it. So let's see. <laughs> Let's see, Carl's got his... Oh, has he got keys? Is that what this is? That's a key ring. Oh, that's for the prison, I guess. Yeah, this is the prison season. Well, Where he has to shoot his mama. You can't hold the knife at all. Look, they, look, they get the bag kind of open, and you can tell there's something in there. <laughs> that's going to have a cool little detail in there. See, then you open, it looks like the bag's open, and it's like, there's something in there. Is it a gun? It's probably Absolutely. a bag of guns. That's kind of cool. You can't hold the knife. <laughs> These have one on there real good, too, and it stays on there pretty nice, too, it looks like. He itty bitty guy. <coughs> He's uh, one of the smallest ones we've uh, <laughs> opened up, Rawr. that's for sure. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, God. Poor, <laughs> poor Carl. I feel bad for him now. I don't think the knife's gonna do it, dude. <laughs> I don't care if it's silver or not. You're gone. <laughs> it's over with. <laughs> <Keep it. laughs> uh, Dad? <laughs> Is that you? <laughs> Let me see if I can no. make us a. Uh... No one can save you now. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you call playability. <laughs> <laughs> I want your backpack of guns. Carl, here. <laughs> Use this on him. I got my knife. <laughs> now you can do with it. I'm going to hurt you, Burbo. <laughs> <laughs> don't, make me, don't make me cut your ass up. I'll do it. I really will. Where's Michonne? <laughs> where, Michonne, where are you at? <laughs> Daryl, shoot him, shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> so, these little figures, really, I mean, these are just the best Walking Dead figures you ever had. And you had a whole, you had wave after wave of these yeah. things. And yep. they were super popular. Now, like I said, everyone's abandoning the figures. You can find them dirt cheap. Uh, who knows, in 10 years, it might be fun to look back at them. I, don't know, I might pick some up. Um, there's never been, like, a really extensive seven inch wave of walking dead figures but he's very detailed to be as small as he is yeah exactly i like I mean, him. look at them shoes that's kind of cool Looks i've got like a little walking dead shelf i can put him on so we just need more walkers always did <laughs> the likeness is good yeah it is yeah Don't do it. 
<laughs> you want to use this thing? And I will. Good werewolf. These keys are <laughs> Good made werewolf. Of, these keys are made of silver. <laughs> I need one of these werewolves fighting zombies. Okay. Who can help Carl? Is there help? <laughs> Just a big blue eyed thing. He'll help. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Who would win, the thing versus a werewolf? <sighs> the thing. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just that's a little, a little partial, it's... maybe. All right, so these are uh, these new boxes. Yeah, like the uh, card on it. Yeah, this is is, is super. It's clamshelled in there. Yeah, it is. Yeah, like you have to. You can just cut along the. Cut along the plastic, I guess. Yeah. yeah. So you're absolutely right. The thing would, and every. Metric. I mean, the werewolf couldn't harm him. No. I don't think his claws would break the hide, and one punch from the thing would probably. Ar, ar, ar. I don't think he couldn't kill the werewolf. No, he hard Unless he just tried to rip him apart. I mean, just, I guess you could do that. The thing wouldn't do that. Though. Did the thing ever go up against the werewolf by night? I don't think so. Probably get some clobbering time, hands. I'm gonna have to look that up. I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna save you the trouble and say you did that happen. Okay. I'm gonna take your word on that too. The two of Dracula. Dracula would be a little different for the thing to fight. Dracula can turn to smoke, he can hypnotize, he can put thing to thrall. You don't want that. Mm-mm. He's that big old... I thought he to, had an extra head. He's hard to drink his blood, though. Let's put it in the box, then. Don't throw away his head. No. No. Well, in the back of the box, it looked like you said he had another head. Is it on the, uh, other part of that package? Oh, no, it there? probably is. Yeah, right there. There we go. Yeah, I like this one. It's got the, the beefier brow and teeth. That's your thing, hit. This yeah, is like I'm pretty good. This seems like he's almost sad that they're not gonna have breakfast. That's what he looks like. But, but I was hungry. And this one's like, oh god, we're gonna fight Galactus again. Nice. I like his feet. <laughs> big old. Uh, picking big on old. little boys, huh? <laughs> hey. What's up, Carl? Now, what was you saying, Mr. Werewolf? <laughs> Garar. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah. It can only get worse from here. It probably will. Uh, orange guy in blue underpants. He's got the classic. Was it? It's he. He's wearing. He's wearing what's her face's underwear from Weird Science. I was gonna say y'all talking about my. <laughs> you're talking about the little Ace character from my One Piece and him being a stripper. What do you think about the thing there? Ah, uh, he is not a stripper. Well, now he's got his little. He got some little. Uh, that doesn't make you a stripper. Come after and just leaving. He's like leaving rocks everywhere. Why is he singing the Fat Albert song? It's like the other strippers would come out and act like they're walking on Legos after he got done. I'm done with that. So I made a rock. He looks really cool. A classic thing. Yes. Classic. You see that, you immediately know who that is. Mm -hmm. You can't go wrong with a thing. No. Alright. Ain't that right, Mr. Werewolf? <laughs> well, that was fun. Now, does this, uh, th these, this collection <laughs> does anything for anybody? Um, <laughs> because how do you feel, you, how you feel about the fun. Wolfman, Donnie? I feel like I'm definitely going to get a Wolfman, but I might go with the color route. Okay. I like the gray. I, I see them out more often I like than the I do white. black and whites. I do like the black and white. Um, I have no interest in Carl. <laughs> I, I think he's a great looking figure. I do think he's a great looking figure. Uh, whoa, what is happening there? What are we, what some, are we doing? He got some uh, duck legs for sure. But. Wow, look at the look at the joints on this. Look, we got this weird knee swivel. 
Well, it's from it's Tiny from, Man. It's from nine years ago. Before, I don't know. Before, as small as that little guy is, he's definitely detailed and looks really yep. good. Except whatever this uh, tumor is that he's got there. I don't it's know. Not a tumor. It's like he was developing a, a very laid back that's his double third, chin. That's second his, chin. That's there Ezekiel. we go. That looks better. <laughs> Ezekiel's going and gets the tumor on his face. Spoiler alert. It's what? <laughs> and, and his hands. All of the comics, you know, have, he's killed by have the joints walk. in them, too. Man, that leg still does something weird just automatically. Yeah. Hmm. Awesome. Yeah, I have no interest in it, but this is a it's a really good figure. The rest of that line looks amazing. Um So Brad, do you need a thing in your collection? Oh no. I, I really don't buy much Marvel, so I probably wouldn't buy him. Okay. But he's really cool. I yep. do like him. Yep. All right. Everybody, thank you for sticking with us. I know it's hard. Hopefully, Someday. it was as fun for y'all as it was for us. It probably is not. Oh, well. <laughs> Let me tell you, it was fun for me. All right, that's a nice, sweet. Ooh, see, yeah. like everybody's getting along now. Oh, yeah, it's time close. for it's hug time. Ra <laughs> rainbows and unicorns. <laughs> Everybody lived happily ever after. Uh, Everything and I what? <laughs> Every and every. <laughs> You're living in perfect house. But he's black and white. Uh, well, he's <laughs> orange. <laughs> Still his baby. It don't matter if he's black or white. <laughs> okay. Cutting it off now. Forgets worse. <laughs>